Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you the app Discord, which is an app I use for school and I believe you should as well. Uh, let's get right into it. First off, replying to your classmates or anyone is extremely easy. It's just a simple press on their username and then you write whatever you want and bam bam, send it. And then another good thing is their text channels that help you organize everything as well as voice channels. So if you're trying to contact your uh, classmate right away, if you need to keep in touch, do something live, it's extremely useful. Another thing good about Discord is multimedia messages. As you can tell here, there's an image of a Donkey Kong, a JPEG file. Doesn't lose much of its resolution, which is extremely good for an app like this. And then also you can share YouTube videos, uh, links, URLs, basically as well as GIFs, .movs, and everything. As you can see here, there's a, this is a GIF of a prototype of the game we're working on currently. And as you can see, it's good quality. It's not all choppy. It doesn't lose much of its quality when it's shared, which is an extremely good thing. And then I'll show you a couple more photos. Here's a PNG of a character we're working on. You see, it all looks very good, very nice, clean cut. You know, maybe show you a couple more. Another PNG of a character working on. Yeah, looks very nice in my opinion. But yeah, you get the idea. You can share lots of photos and it's very convenient, very simple, and very easy to use, which is the best part. And again, going back to these chat groups, it's very convenient because this one being called design, designs are shared, the programming, that you share the code, the syntax, if you have any questions art you know you can show your artwork it's all very organized and simple which makes it extremely helpful especially so you don't have to go looking back and forth at a certain chat and you have to scroll way up just to find a certain thing you're looking for and then another good thing is that messages are never deleted they stay forever and they even have timestamps which is very convenient as you can see here i'm scrolling all the way up on this one and it should, takes you all the way back to march 9th when it first started and which is very nice for this app and I think it's extremely helpful. Joining a server is also very easy. You, know, you just put in a simple four digit code to join or you can create your own in any region which is really nice. Very simple, simple click or tap. And then also when it comes to friends there's a lot of categories that can show you who's online if you have friend requests pending, suggestions of people you may or may not know, people you may have blocked, and sadly I have no friends, but it's as simple as entering a four digit tag to add in, which is very convenient. You can also make groups, which is very nice. And yeah, I hope you liked our video.